Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today's video comes courtesy of Dexter, I presume. He said what types of channels that are in your same niche and uh, what types of channels that you watch in general. So let's start with the first question. Channels from similar niches. First one is Cafezella. Cafezella is a guy who exposes fake gurus, fake financial gurus, you know, those 19 year olds and 20 year olds who claim they're millionaires or billionaires, things of that nature. Some of his videos are about major names like Dan Locke, Dan Belzerian, John Cristani, Ty Lopez, Dan Pena, and you name it. A lot of names that are regarded highly in the online community. Next is Spencer Cornelia. Spencer Cornelia which is a similar channel they are friends actually does the same thing except this guy has other series that focus on how people succeed like why Jake Paul Logan Paul Logan Paul makes so much money or why NFL athletes go broke this channel is interesting as well I watch it from time to time and I can vouch for the quality yes he for example he exposes few egg gurus pickup artists like Derek Moneyberg and, and other names charlatans basically so i would consider these two channels for in the same niche as mine because they tackle the same thing just from a different angle all right what is the next channel next channel is the attraction switch first of all i'll start with charisma on command so this one is you already know i'm sure since it has like four four million four million subscribers oh almost five so this channel deals with charisma how to be charismatic, how to be charming, how to be eloquent, how to be a good conversationalist, a great communicator. The attraction switch is pretty similar to this one. Let me find the attraction switch. The attraction switch. Attraction. It has only 23 videos. I'm sure he enlisted some and left the only successful ones, but uh, just, just an assumption. Okay, so he has titles like how to walk like an alpha male, how to seduce women, what makes Tyrion an alpha male. He breaks down characters, celebrities, just like Charisma on Command and uh, tackles them in a new approach. Pretty, pretty cool. Next one. It's not Machiavellian, but still. Okay. Next one is the art of verbal war. The art, the art of verbal, verbal war. Boom. The art of verbal war. Yes, he does the same thing. He provides techniques of communication, of negotiation based on character breakdowns. He even does people from real life. Oprah Winfrey, like, um, what's her name? I don't remember. For example, let's find, okay, let's check the playlist. Persuasion and influence, verbal skills, verbal fluency, verbal self-defense, anything that has to do with verbal warfare, basically. Check it out. Let's see the best videos. My video is gonna be quite long, but I don't care, since you asked, you shall receive. He has titles like how to talk like Frank Underwood, how to make good comebacks like uh, Harvey. A lot of things about Harvey. One, two, three, four, Don Draper. Anyway, cool characters basically. Okay, let's move on. What is the next one? Yes, the next one is Observe. This channel has to do with deduction, with the art of observation. It specializes in how to, you know, expose deception in body language. It is quite entertaining and we can find a lot of interesting characters here from serial killers, criminals, politicians, anything that is trendy, you'll find here. His famous one has to do with uh, Amber Heard. Body language analyst reacts to Amber Heard's uh, cringe deposition. He has other instructional videos, but those don't tend to perform well. What performs well is trendy topics like events, scandals, things of that nature. That's one of the things that I don't like about YouTube. You have to make videos about trendy topics. Yeah. He has book reviews, powerful deduction techniques, Mentalism 101, Mind Palace. We will talk about Mind Palace in a future video and I will show you something in a future channel recommendation. We'll get to it, we'll get to it. Bum, bum, bum. What is next? Next is the art of deduction, maybe? The art of deduction. Yes, the art of deduction. Basically tackles similar topics. He was on a hiatus for a long time and now he's back. Let's find some cool titles. 
How to observe a person, things to look for, why you shouldn't emulate Sherlock Holmes. He does a lot of uh, videos about Sherlock Holmes. Oh, he has a video about L. Why L is the greatest detective ever. That's cool. And you should emulate him in how MBTI can help you to do that. MBTI can be entertaining and useful. It's a personality indicator, but it's not seriously scientific, so don't take it too seriously. That would be the only thing I would say. Videos like staying a step ahead, building a foundation. This is good. These videos that I've recommended, and channels that I recommend, I only watch like a couple videos here and there. I don't binge watch them. I tend to feel guilty when watching too much. A lot of guilt. Okay, so the next one is Nameless, the dark side of psychology. Or self-help maybe. Or psychology? Let's go. 25,000 subscribers. Topics like 10 signs that you are on a quarter life crisis. Stop being yourself, childhood emotional neglect, basically psychological topics that are on the dark side. Let's find out his best performing videos. Yeah, feeling empty inside for no reason, panic attacks, why life is meaningless. He has other videos about manipulation and uh, how to pick up women, how to pick up artists, pick up girls. Yeah, interesting one, interesting one. Definitely an interesting channel. Maybe just watch one and decide if you want to watch the rest. Next channel. Let's find you out. Next one is the closest you can find to mentalism. The mentalist Patrick Jane is Dr. David Snyder. I'm not sure if he's a real doctor, if he has a PhD or... A... So he does videos about influence, about the unconscious, how to program yourself, how to program others, NLP, a lot of things about mind control, hypnosis, self-hypnosis face reading, body language reading, palm reading maybe? Not sure, it's been a long time since I've watched anything of him. I don't agree with everything he teaches, but he's really interesting. Again, very charismatic. And as I said, the closest thing you can get to mentalist on YouTube, since I don't know any mentalist in real life. Yeah, yes, how to memorize faster and help you lecture. You get the idea. You can go and check it on your own. His videos are quite long, especially the latest ones. He does like long streams where he explains certain ideas and he sells you a course in the end. Which is, I don't know, I guess he provides value. I don't advise you to buy anything from him until you do your research. Next one, Michael Francesi. Francesi, forget about it. It's already forgot about it. Okay, so Michael Francesi is basically this ex mafia boss he was one of the highest earning mafia bosses maybe in the 70s first time i heard his name was in a mafia movie goodfellas was pete the killer who was sally balls's brother and you had nicky eyes What's up, guy? and mikey francesi and jimmy two time he does videos about the mafia world, leadership skills, how to avoid trouble, things of that nature. He does breakdowns of movie scenes. Yeah, he has a series called Mob Movie Monday, where he analyzes movie scenes, like The Godfather. Okay, next part is relaxation in learning. Things I watch when I want to learn and relax at the same time, you know. Just chill. The first is, I don't know how to write it, so I'll copy it and paste it. In Cell Ganga, if that's how it's pronounced is the lone wolf i think the individualist so this guy provides videos mainly about stoicism lately he's been diversifying his topics he mentions Taoism. he mentions the art of war he mentions miyamoto musashi he used to do a lot of videos also on the shadow on carl jung anyway okay so what are some of his best titles most popular most popular Taoism. The philosophy of flow, Taoism, the art of not trying, Taoism, the power of letting go. Yeah, if something works, it works. Okay, that's good. As you see, power of in away, stoicism, Sun Tzu, how to be alone, seven stoic exercises for inner peace, the art of letting go, Buddhism, Sigma males. He does a lot of things about males who walk alone, you know, the archetype of Clint Eastwood, you know. So this channel appeals a lot to introverts, I can tell. He's doing something right. Okay, next one is The Pursuit of Wonder. This one gets depressing from time to time. He does videos about philosophical topics, like is really good at providing new concepts or tackling old concepts in new ways that leave you like in wonder, you know. That's his goal. Very good editing. Yeah, I love his videos. 
Sometimes there can be a little bit depressing, but I don't consume it too much. He does a lot of videos about how geniuses are rarely recognized in their own time. So if you like that kind of topic, please go and check him out. Next one is like stories of old. Similar concept. Like stories of old makes videos about movies, TV shows, anime, games, anything. Tries to explain a specific concept or leads you to a certain idea through manipulation of imagery and uh, scenery. Some of my favorite titles of his are Stoicism and the Shawshank Redemption, The Grey, The Philosophy of Heroic Suffering, The Secret Life of Walter Mary Overcoming Maladaptive Daydreaming, and This Fight Club How Not to Become a Space Monkey. He has a lot of great videos and he's very famous. He gained like quick success. He's really good. Oh, and personality. is quite quirky. Very intriguing and endearing too. I really like this guy, so. So he teaches you about concepts of memory, ideas like the mind palace, specific systems of memory, how to use them, how to gain concentration, different types of meditation that will enhance your brain activity, how to memorize a speech, a lot of things, how to speed read, a lot of things that have to do with cognition, learning languages, he has books about how to learn German using the memory palace, what else? Yeah, let's find some of his best performing video. How to memorize vocabulary of any language, brain exercises, textbooks, how to memorize textbooks. This is really helpful if you are like studying or... They can be used to memorize anything no matter the subject. This is exceptionally useful for medical students who have a lot to memorize. I recommend you start with something interesting like... Um, something... Okay, let's find something interesting. Yeah, like how to build a memory palace. Like how to build a memory palace. This one. Anyway, that'll be it. Next channel, Bob Ross. Whenever I'm stressed, there's no one better for relaxation than Bob Ross. The art of painting <laughs> by Bob Ross. Yeah, you can just relax, watch him paint for like a half an hour and he will make something amazing in half an hour. He invented ASMR before it was a thing. It's simply amazing. I remember like when I used to get stressed before exams, I would, I would just watch a video of his and yeah. And I'll become completely without any worries. Okay, next one. Mexican martial arts. This is for you MMA fans out there. This guy is extremely funny. He's like one of the funniest dudes on YouTube. He just does video breakdowns about MMA fights in a funny way, entertaining way. He plays a specific character for entertainment. Let's find some videos of his. Habib vs. Poirier, 7 things you missed. Conor McGregor vs. Habib Nurmagomedov. If you're not interested in this one, it's okay. Let's move on. Next is about psychology. Like. This is more about forensic psychology or more academic sides of psychology. The first guy to mention here is Professor Sam Vaknin. This guy is a genius. He's a narcissist. He's diagnosed narcissist. And he's a genius. 180 IQ point. He went to university at age 9. He can be described by two words like prolific and truly like amazing person. Yeah, he's a narcissist with psychopathic traits. I know like how crazy like. How can you consider someone narcissistic or psychopathic as great? To me, if you provide other people with value the way this professor does, it doesn't matter if you have empathy or have no empathy or... I think if you control your yourself and, uh, and seek to do something positive in the world, that's all that matters. I remember a quote from The Dark Knight. It's not who I think I am underneath that defines me, it's what I do. And Professor Sam is an amazing person. I highly recommend you watch his videos as lectures. Dr. Sam is like one of the leading experts on narcissism. He coined the majority of the language in the field of narcissism when almost no one was adding any value to the topic. Watch his videos as lectures, that's the only advice I can give you. Alright, so next channel is Jim Can't Swim. This video is about forensic psychology and police interrogations. Like how police determine someone's, if someone is a suspect or not. You can find a lot of interesting videos from real life killers. Either serial killers or just one time killers. From Chris Watts who killed his wife and family. From Judy Arias who killed her boyfriend savagely. A lot of interesting videos here. This channel started at the same time I started my channel and it already had 2 million. That's funny. Alright, so next channel is Dr. Grande. 
Grande or Grande? Grande. Okay, I'll go with the Grande. So Dr. Grande is another licensed professional who's uh, really smart. His videos are informative and about novel trending topics as well. Serial killers, famous personalities, politicians, you name it. Anything you want, you can find it here. His old videos are really useful, to be honest. He used to do videos about statistics and academic research. He publishes once every day. What a monster, dear God. Okay, yeah, I'm a very big fan of Dr. Grande and his dry wit. It's very funny, really, really funny. Okay, next one is about anime. All right, you freaks. This is the only channel I watch for anime. It's quite interesting. Let's check some of his most famous videos. He does videos on Hunter x Hunter, Berserk, videos on Death Note 2. A lot of good titles. A lot of good titles. So if you are interested, check him out. He had a video on the brilliance of Naoki Orusawa's monster. If you haven't watched my If you have a baby in your hands, drop it and go watch Monster. Next channel is... This one has to do more with chess. My introduction to chess was with this guy. One of the funniest people I've ever watched. Daniel Wrench. He's the chief chess operator of chess.com, like the most famous chess website in the world. Yeah, he's that guy. I used to watch him a lot, sometimes daily, on a daily basis. It's just funny. It's just funny. So if you wanna check him out, please do. Next channel. This has to do with YouTube creators if you have a YouTube channel. This is the guy to check, Roberto Blake. If I can summarize Roberto by one word, it's value. He gives value. He's the best guy out there to be honest. If you want to become a YouTuber. He's strict, he's honest, he's consistent. He's quite intelligent and analytical. Very detail oriented. For someone so organized, He's extremely original, so check him out if you want to learn about YouTube. Next channel is for entertainment and other. So there are four channels left. First one is Abba in Preach. Abba in Preach is a channel ran by two charismatic guys, Abba in Preach, which discuss several topics from race, gender, social dynamics, power dynamics, a lot of things. They're quite entertaining. They do reaction videos. Some of their videos might be seen as controversial, but that's the name of the game. If you want attention on YouTube, you have to create controversy. Next channel is the Goal Guys. These guys, two guys specifically, not a duo, do videos about learning certain skills. Waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning or doing certain workout, certain body transformations, going vegan for 30 days, like reading 30 books in 30 days, running in marathons really really interesting stuff so if you want to check them out please do next channel is kate kavanaugh this is one of those channels that i watched both for the content and the personality this channel is about a writer she's very charming she does challenges writing challenges reading challenges like i tried writing like stephen king for a day or she would go on 24 hour writerathon and you won't have trouble watching a 40 minute video because the person is, is really, really charming. If you are a writer or interested in writing, give her a shot. Next one, James Schultz. If you are interested in Light Yagami, this is like the real life Light Yagami. This is study with me, 12 hours working, non-stop. Well, he stops from time to time, but uh, yeah. This is some Light Yagami level commitment right here. So if you want to study, with him, go check him out. Okay, so consider this as part one. I'll make other parts, part two, maybe even part three, who knows, but uh, these are some of the channels that I watch from time to time or on a daily basis. I will leave a list of the channels in the comment section below. If you have other channels that are similar to these or you have channels that you enjoy and want to share them with others, please do in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. I'm so tired, I wasn't going to make a video today so hope you enjoyed it hope you're not bored to death and uh, see you in the next video